Good afternoon guys. Today's date is August the 2nd on a Sunday, 2020. And guys, I am outside right now in the backyard of my crash pad getting ready to do this video for you guys. But I just want to show you guys how beautiful it is today on a Sunday in Denver. Alright guys, so I want to do something different. So you guys always see my schedule when I pick up but yes I have my drink out here to get me through this video all right so this video is going to be about my July paychecks but this is my June schedule and you guys can see my schedule how it looks before I start adding stuff so this is what I sent to the crash pad owner and you guys can see that I already picked up a turn on the first and then I picked up a three day that started on the 26th. It was what Houston layover, Phoenix layover, and then Denver on the 28th. Okay, so this is what everything looked like at that time when I sent this to her. So one thing I want you guys to understand is for June, you guys can see I had six day blocks with two days off in between. You see that? So it's kind of hard guys to pick up what a six day block and I'll uh, explain to you. So I wasn't able to pick up on the second because legally with my contract, I have to have a legal day of rest and we do not do, you know, um, like if I ended a trip at 12 PM and 12 p.m. the next day is 24. No, I have to take a full day off, guys. So, what a six day block. I picked up on the first, off the second. I could not pick up because why? I started a six day reserve block. And then you see on the 9th and the 10th, I have two days off. So, because I had a six day reserve block, the 9th, I have to rest. I cannot pick up on the 10th, why? Because I start another six day reserve block. So this is why it is difficult to really find um, bid for trips because of that or pick up when it's a six day block. And in my case, it was back to back. I had three uh, six day blocks in, on my schedule and then I had two days off, but unfortunately I was not able to pick up. Now remember guys, REA, it is from 12.01 a.m. to 1300 or 1 p.m. That is my reserve uh, phone, avail uh, phone availability, guys. So remember, this is what my ske schedule looks like before I picked up all those trips for June. All right, guys, and here is my uh, June schedule. Once trips have been added, and you can see um, the trips I bid it for and was awarded. So remember the first was that turn that I picked up on my day off. The second, I was unable to pick up anything. Why? Because I started a six day reserve block. So the third through the eighth is my first six day reserve block. And as you can see the third and the fourth, I was not used. On the 5th, I did ready reserve A or A couch. And that was from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can be extended by two hours with any couch, okay? The 6th, um, I did get a turn by cruise scheduling. And as you can see on the 7th, I was in reserve, but cruise scheduling gave me a turn. And then the last day of my reserve, um, the last day of my six day reserve block, I bid it for a turn and I was awarded that. Now the 9th and the 10th, I was off. Okay, the 11th through the 16th, I start, I started, I'm sorry, another six day reserve block. So you see the 11th and 12th, I was not used. The 13th, I was given a turn by cruise scheduling. The 14th, I was not used. The 15th, Cruise scheduling gave me a turn. 
and then on the 16th guys I bid it for a turn and was awarded a turn for my last day okay so the 17th and the 18th I was off now the 19th through the 24th again I started another six day reserve block so this is my last one I had three okay guys so the 19th I was on reserve I was not used now I want to explain what this PAT and PAC mean so PAT guys is perfect attendance okay so December 19th is when I got my UTC so with my airline if I go six months without any other points that was added that is perfect attendance so PAT is perfect attendance and then PAC guys that is perfect attendance credit so I had to figure this out because it scared me okay okay guys so the 20th um, I picked up a turn no I'm sorry I was given a turn by cruise scheduling 21st I was not used the 22nd guys now I bid it for a looks like a three day in Philly. Let me see one, two, three. Yes, it was a three day. So I had a layover in Philly. So I got to Philly on the 22nd, had a layover, guys, on the 23rd, returned to Denver on the 24th. So that was the last of my six day reserve block. Now, guys, the 25th through the 30th, I was off. So I rested on the 25th because I had two guys because I had a six day reserve block. But the 26th through the 29th, I picked up a four day. Now, remember, this was on my day off or my days off, I should say. So the first leg started Dallas, Fort Worth. I had a layover. The 27th, I had a layover in Salt Lake City. The 28th, another layover in Salt Lake Salt lake city sorry guys and then the 29th i returned to denver and guys on the 30th i was able to pick up pick up a turn i'm sorry on my last day off so you guys can see i was really flying despite the six day reserve blocks your girl was flying now guys this was my highest month so you see my block was 7325 but look at my credit 93.30 so my year to date 404 hours and 23 minutes and i had six days off so again this is my highest i uh had a we'll see a schedule i forgot what month but it was like 91 so 93 up until this point was my highest month for flying and that was the trips i took in june all right guys now that you have seen my june schedule let's see how i was paid uh in july so we're going to take a look at that first check right there all right and then there is my net pay guys i was a thousandaire and you guys can see the pay period i was paid on the sixth and this is for 37 and a half hours remember my guaranteed is uh, 75 so that's half of that all right guys f9 card and cent that is our credit cards so that's paid on the second check f9 tips that is the second check the time and a half is the second check hsa er that is my insurance so 37.50 long-term disability three dollars and 42 cents now re remember on the first check guys the per diem is on there so as you can see my non tax per diem. So all those uh, trips that had per diem, that is how much money I made. $267.12. Over 75, that is on a second check. Over 82, that is on a second check. Parking pass is on the second check. Now guys, the regular guarantee time now how they came up with that number 90112 is because I got a little raise. So guys, I now make $24.03 times my guaranteed of 37.5. That is how they came up with that number. Okay. So we're going back. Okay, regular pay. 
that would be on the second check if I have anything over my guaranteed retro pays on the second check now all those trips guys those turns that I had remember turns is taxable taxable per diem y'all see the amount so again all those turns that's how much taxes came out 171.99 guys vacation payout that is something I had a long time ago and here are the deductions company paid ADD zero company paid life zero company paid long-term disability zero HSA contribution I contribute zero HSA ER they took out that 3750 that they gave me the long-term disability they took the 342 dental is free I have no more uni uni uniform um, I owe because my uniform is paid for union dues $25 is $50 a month value HDHP is my insurance now remember vision is also free along with dental now the taxes guys this is how everything was broken down okay guys and that is how I was paid for my first check in July all right guys and let's uh, take a look at that second paycheck okay so yes let's take a look all right guys and you see the amount fourteen hundred and seventy two dollars guys Ooh, this track was extremely attractive guys okay um, you see the pay period I was paid on the 20th and that is the hours guys 72.48 so let's take a look at this very attractive check so F9 card and cent I don't sell them guys so I got zero now F9 tips four dollars and four cents guys because mm -mm -mm. we're really not doing service okay time and a half zero HSA ER 37 and a half long-term disability they gave me 342 non-tax per diem is on a first check now y'all saw all those hours again so over 75 I got 168 21 over 82 guys look how much money I got 342 43 now that parking pass they gave me 36 dollars okay so remember on my schedule I had perfect attendance I didn't know but they gave me forty eight dollars and six cents so that's not bad okay regular guarantee time okay so remember guys now this here this must be everything outside of my guaranteed because that extra money must have been the extra hours I uh, flown over that because my regular pay I know that's 90112 Remember that's 2403 times 37 and a half. So I'm sure the regular guarantee time, guys, I could be wrong, but we'll see. I think that's extra hours. Retro pay zero. Taxable per diem is zero. Vacation payout is zero. Okay, deductions. Company paid zero. Company paid life zero. Uh, company paid long term dis disability zero. HSA contribution zero. HSA ER they took that 3750 long term disability they took the 342 uh, remember dental is free no more uniform my union dues again 50 a month so that second check they take out the 25 value HDHP is my insurance and then vision is also free and then there are those taxes which is a lot that they took out okay guys so Again, this is my highest check as of to date. Almost a $1,500 check. And I tell you guys, pick up on your days off. Aggressively bid. Y'all, cruise scheduling is not just going to give you trips. Okay, so y'all see the proof right there. I was flying. Despite a pandemic going on, y'all, I was flying. So like Jay-Z said, men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. Y'all see that, y'all? Ooh, that's a good check.